Hello, Alison. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. I kind of wanted to find out a little bit more about Jake and Jasper. Okay. What is the film Jake and Jasper about? Um, it is about a boy and a ferret. Basically, um, the boy has lost his mother and he's having a tough time at school. And his sister gives him a ferret and the ferret has a really positive effect on the boy's life. Um, and then there's, you know, some, some crises um, when the father threatens to take the ferret away. So Jake actually runs away to a forest with the ferret and they go on a, an adventure in the woods together. Ooh, that sounds very exciting. Actually, I've seen the movie and I love it. Oh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think everyone should watch it. I think it's fantastic. Well, thank you. I'm really glad that you loved it, especially since you were one of the supporters and you helped fund the movie. And <laughs> so I really appreciate that. And everybody that donated money to help that movie be made, it, it would not exist if it wasn't for, like, hundreds of fair people around the world donating money. So thank you, everyone, who did that. <laughs> Is this film just for ferret fans or would everyone enjoy watching it? Yeah, it's just for ferret people. I don't want anybody else to watch it. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's definitely so. Actually, I know it's something that everybody would love um, because I, I just came back from California where we had a couple of screenings. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them was How in Hollywood. How did that go down in California with um, ferrets being yeah. illegal there? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, they don't even know that they're illegal there. So. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I, I did this uh, screening at, at um, the International Family Film Festival in Hollywood, and everybody there loved it. I mean, every time the ferret was on the screen, you could hear them reacting, just, Aww. you know, like, oh, it's so cute, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, afterwards, uh, I was telling them about an upcoming film that I have called The Ferret Squad, mm -hmm. which is based in California, and uh, I told them about you know, the plot and that ferrets are illegal and blah, blah, blah. And they were like, what? Really? Ferrets are illegal here? And these people live in California? <laughs> have no idea, right? Wow. So, yeah, but people really, really love the movie. Um, and I think that it's something, you know, I've seen children that love it. People send me videos of their kids watching the movie and they get, you know, they're, they're dancing and laughing when they see the ferret. And they're, you know, scared when they see the wolf. And it's so cute. It's adorable. But then also, you know, there's, uh, you know, middle-aged people, old people, uh, families, you know, single 20-somethings. Everybody loves um, stories about, you know, animals and family, um, friendship, love, you know, these kind of themes that run through the movie. So it's really for everyone, I would say. I would have to agree. Yeah, and so what inspired you to make Jake, Jake and Jasper? Uh, I'm a ferret lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know me, some people don't know this, so I, I have two ferrets. Their names are Falcor and Frisco, and Falcor actually plays Jasper in the movie. Um, and I just love ferrets so much, um, and I was really, really tired of people... People always have first impression of ferrets. They are, you know, misconceptions about them. And this is because of the media and how they're used in movies. There's no movie out there like this. There's no movie that shows a boy and a ferret um, in a positive way like that. There's a movie where it shows a boy getting bit by a ferret on the nose and then the <laughs> ferrets return to, you know, the store or whatever. There's, there's movies where ferrets are, you know, thrown in a bathtub to attack a guy yeah. or... Or they, you know, all are let out of a cage and they jump on a woman and kill her. It's totally ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and I just, you know, so when you show someone a ferret for the first time, their first reaction is, oh, do they bite? Oh, you know, I heard they stink. And oh, blah, blah, blah. I hate ferrets. Have you ever seen one before? No. <laughs> right? So I, I just, I wanted to show people how great they are because I have ferrets and they are awesome. They're loving, they're smart, they're cute, they're cuddly. You know, they fall asleep on my chest. I teach them tricks. Mm -hmm. You know, they're awesome. It's like having a kitten or a puppy that never grows up, you know. And every day I see their faces, I'm, I'm just like, oh, every day. Like, they, they stay so cute. Forever. <laughs> they do. You know I mean? <laughs> I, I that. And they have these little teddy bear faces, you know. <laughs> you just see them, like, waking up in the cage because they hear you walking in. These little faces looking at you. Oh, it just melts my heart. <laughs> <laughs> they you know use that against about. you, though. 
What? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Get whatever they want. So. Yeah, they know they're cute. <laughs> yeah. So that's why. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Jasper, I, I just wanted to share with the world who, who doesn't know this. How great they are. And, and I can see it working when I watch strangers and, and non-ferret people watch the movie. They fall in love with them. And they tell me afterwards, I've converted them into ferret people. Mm-hmm. You know? Awesome. So. Awesome. Yeah. That's fantastic. And so yeah. are they all going to go out and gra- get ferrets now? <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I always get told, like, oh, now my, my daughter or my son wants to buy a ferret. But I, I definitely don't want everybody to rush out and get a ferret. Um, I love ferrets, and I know there's tons of them in shelters, and there's tons of them that don't have homes. And mm. there's a lot of people that need to do their research before they buy a ferret. Cause you shouldn't go pick one up if it's going to end up back you know, at the pet store or at a shelter. You should really do your research and make sure you can afford it. Mm-hmm. If any kind of crazy vet bills come up, because they do, you know. Yeah. So um, that's my little disclaimer <laughs> is do your research <laughs> before you get one. Um, but, but, yeah, I am, I am hearing a lot of people um, saying that, you know, their kids want to get one now or, they, or adults that want to get them as well. Yeah. So do you think that ferrets are for everyone? Uh, no, I don't think they're for everyone. Yeah. I think they're awesome. So mm-hmm. it's hard to say that because it sounds negative. Like when you say, I don't think they're for everyone. Yeah. It's it's not that I don't think that they're awesome. I just want to make sure that they have a forever home, you know? Yeah. So yeah. you really have to re- research it. I mean, if you think that they live in a cage 24 hours a day and that's what you want, mm-hmm. you should not get a ferret because that's not correct, right? Yeah. My ferrets actually live free. Their cage door is open 24-7. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, so they have a pretty good life. And I, I, I know they don't have to be out 24 hours a day, but, you know, they have to be out at least, like, what, four hours? Yeah. Is that general consensus? Yep. Four hours doesn't even seem like enough to me because, no. but, yeah, but they do sleep a lot. So I guess, yeah. you know, they sleep, like, 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous but <laughs> of them <they're>, sleeping. <laughs> oh, they're sleeping, yeah. I just... I want to crawl into like a hammock of ferrets. And... I know. <laughs> Do you sometimes snuggle in between them, your face in between them when they're sleeping? <laughs> uh, what? You mean like put my head like in the hammock? <laughs> yeah. Come on. No, we've all no. done it before. We've all done it before. <laughs> no, I've never done that. Really? Oh, you have you to try it. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Well, maybe I'll give it a try. <laughs> No, what I what I do do is I snatch them out of there when they're asleep, though, so they don't know. And then I put them like on top of me, so they'll be like watching TV, and they'll both be fast asleep, like curled up on my chest or something. And then they wake up and they have no idea where they are. <laughs> hey, where am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but usually uh, I can have them for like a couple hours there, and they enjoy that. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh. So, did the cast enjoy working with Falco? Falco. Yeah, definitely. Um, Connor Stanhope, who plays Jake, totally fell in love with him. Um, he fell in love with him before um, before we filmed the movie. I had him come over to my house, and I didn't even do an audition for him. I just had him come over to my house and play with my ferrets. And I was just sitting on the couch watching him, laying on the floor, playing with my two guys. And uh, I just knew, you know, he's really an animal person. Yeah. yeah. And now, like him and Falcor have worked together so much, not just in the movie, but in like promo videos for it, photo shoots, etc. Um, Connor even was my ferret sitter when I went to California last week. Uh, yeah, so he loves Falcor. He definitely wants to get a ferret. Um, and yeah, the rest of the cast loved him as well. The crew even loved him. You know, he had his own like private room uh, when we were filming in the house, and he had his own air conditioned trailer. Wow. We were filming it for us. Yeah, so people, you know, were always like wanting to see him, but it's very important um, that they have like their peace and their quiet when they're not working. Yeah. Um, yeah. so that it's a positive experience for them, but everybody really wanted to go see him. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a spoiled little star. He is. <laughs> Definitely is. So was it difficult working with Falco and making a movie with him? Um, no, it, it was the only difficult part was, 
uh, worrying about him because when I'm directing, I'm very preoccupied with a million other things, you know, Mm -hmm. and I had professional animal wranglers there. So I knew he was in safe hands with them, but at the same time, I wanted to always like go check on him and see how he was doing and be with him. Mm -hmm. Um, but I really should be working with the actors and talking to my producers and, you know, everyone's coming up to me with a million questions, you know, do you want him to wear this t-shirt and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So, (laughs) So that was the hard part is just worrying about him. Um, And then, you know, everything else was easy. 